All right, another low securement video. It's time to go get it. It's time to get the money. It's time to get the work. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to secure vehicles on a flatbed step deck. Let go. Spin that shit. It's a thousand, right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. Might have been shaking that work. Spin the check and get it right back. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. You gonna spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. You gonna die with it. Spin the check and get it right back. You gonna run it right back. Spin right, right. the check. So welcome back to right another edition of On Point Trucking Concepts with your main man, LaShawn Parks. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me in Phoenix, Arizona. As we loading up these vehicles, I got two vehicles. I got two armored vehicles, actually. One of them is a bat cat. Looks like something off a of Batman world. Looks like something Batman would ride in, but it's an armored truck vehicle. And also, I got an armored truck van. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how I secured it, and uh, maybe y'all can learn something in this securement video. There All right, so now in this low securement video, this is what I'm carrying. Let me give, get a step back so you guys can see it perfectly. That's the armored truck right there I'm carrying. Thing is pretty tough. It looked like something off a of Batman or something military grade or something of that nature. But uh, let's zoom in on it. There it is. Up, oh, back out, zoom out. There it is. That's a closer look of it. My phone wanted to be blurry and everything. But yeah, that thing's pretty tough. And uh, I'll show you guys the front of it here real quick. So here's a front snapshot of it. Armored truck. So I'm gonna show you guys how I secured this one. So I do, I got binder here, and I got binder here. Now, in my last camera video, people was concerned with me using one chain. Once again, I'm using one chain right here and coming up. The thing is, is that this snap binder right here, let's see if we can get close on it. You guys can see the working load limit is 5,400 pounds. Okay, that's a point of contact. So I have a point of contact per point of contact is 5400. This is one point of contact, right? So this is 5400, all right? Coming down, going around the spool pocket right here, coming back, and the chain is coming. Actually, the chain is coming, it's coming down and basically going across. But the way that I put my snap binder on there, I pinched this chain right here that was going across, and I pinched this top chain right here, all right? So Working low limit, there it is. 5,400 working low limit. This is perfectly legal, all right? Now I'm gonna show you guys back behind here how I got it mounted. As you guys can see, it's going around the axle. That's the only place that you really wanna go around these with. You don't wanna go around any lines. Make sure you avoid from hitting the air brake lines and things of that nature because that's gonna cost you some money. So only place I put it around is the axle. I loop it around it and I come back and hook it. I'll show you guys again. Looped it around, came back and hooked. All right, so that's how I did that one. Once again, the chain came, actually the chain came down that way, wrapped it around this way and it came this way, came down through this spool pocket right here and came up. And as you guys can see, this is where I got it at back here in the back. All right, so it is wrapped around that axle right there. You see the brake line right here? You want to make sure that you go underneath this brake line. Don't ever go over top of the brake line because you'll end up breaking it. Go underneath the brake line into the to the axle. Okay? Chain it around, and that's how I got it. As you guys can see right there perfectly. It's going around the axle, coming back. All right, so I got another binder, another point of contact. Bam, bam. So this actually works on one chain. It creates itself as 54 and 54. That's, that's about what? 11, 11, 8 worth of securement on one side, okay? And what I do with my access chain right here is I just take a bungee, I connect it, connect it to another bungee on the other side, and bam, bam. And like I told you guys before, do on the other side what you do on one side. So it's pretty much identical. Whatever you do on this side, you do on the other side as well, exact same way. And just for those that wanna know, this stops backward movement, this stops forward movement all right so next i got the armored armored van now this van was a pain in the ass to do this as you guys can see i'm out here on a dirt field okay i'm out here in the dirt field and i'm not out here in the dirt field because this is where the load was at but i'm out here in the dirt field because i had to utilize 
this road right here, you see where the drop off is at? Right there, where that curb drops off. I had to utilize that to get this van onto the, onto the truck. And the reason why is because these CD steps right here, that's on the side, these steps right here create a problem, okay? Because they're so low and what ends up happening if you try to load it on the street, what's gonna end up happening is by the time it gets up here, it's gonna end up scratching, get about right in this area, it's gonna start scratching on the ramp. And that's not something that you wanna have. That, that could be a, a claim issue. So what you have to do is you have to find a level area where your trailer sits lower than the road does. So that's why I need to use this down in this dirt pit so that I could drive this van on there basically smoothly and evenly so I can get on here without scratching and scraping. So that's what I had to do. Now these are called lasso straps. If you guys don't know, these work really, really well. This is what I use to put on the tires when I'm carrying a van, a cargo van or anything of that nature. These lasso straps are rated for about 25 to 5,000 pounds. So I got four of these on here and I think this van weighs about 10,000 pounds. So I don't have much to worry about. This is how I do these. I bring it down here to the stake pocket on the outside of the stake pocket. I connect it underneath the stake pocket right here, like so. And then what you wanna do with the back strap, you wanna wrap this, this bull ring right here. You wanna take that around the back side of the tire and bring this strap right here to give you pull or towards the winch, whatever you wanna call it. And then what that's doing now, as you can see, is that it's pulling the truck, or excuse me, pulling the truck tires to the front, okay? So that's basically stopping backward movement. And you're gonna do the same thing, well, actually vice versa, on the front tire. On the front tire, you're gonna want the bull ring to come around from the front, and you're gonna pull the lasso strap towards the middle. So everything is basically gonna look like a V, okay? Everything's coming to the middle of the, to the center of the, the vehicle, okay? So you got this strap right here, it's gonna come like a V. You got this one coming like a V as well. And that's how you secure these vans whenever you get them at ports and things of that nature or vehicles that uh, you know are about about anywhere ranging from 6,000 to 10,000 pounds. Lasso straps are the best, they're the quickest way to do it. And that's what I advise people use is lasso straps. Same thing you do on one side, you do on the other side. As you guys can see, same thing. All right, same thing. Pull this one, this front strap towards the middle. Pull the back strap towards the middle, A1. And those are called lasso straps. You can uh, find those on the internet. That's actually where I purchased those at, is lasso straps on the internet. I can't find them at the chrome shops and I can't find them at the truck stops. I had to order them online. And then like I said, I did on what I did on that side, I did on this side, exact same thing, nothing different. Exact same process, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We headed down the highway. So, just to back up, show you guys, ooh, that sun in the face, ain't it? Show you guys the armored truck. That thing's pretty mean, man. I had to drive this on, I had to drive both of these onto this, onto my deck too, so. Yeah, I got a chance to uh, drive this armored utility truck. Joint's pretty tough too, man. Pretty damn tough. It's a Ford, I don't know what it's called, Ford F something, but she's mean, and that's a Ford van as well, so. So I hope you guys were able to learn something today. If you got any questions about this comment, please make sure, oh, let me adjust this a little bit real quick. Please make sure that you leave uh, your comments. I'll try to address comments as I can. You guys gotta understand that I'm still a busy man and I'm a working, uh, working man as well. So if I'm not able to get back to your comment in a timely order, I do apologize. But I try to answer comments when I can. Normally, whenever I drop the video, probably within the first hour, I, com I answer comments. Pretty much after that, it's hit or miss. So. Uh, but I do read your comments. I just am not able to respond back to them immediately because I may be doing something. But continue to leave your comments. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to it. And in the way that you can keep up with LoShawn and the securement videos and everything that I got going on in the trucking world, hit that bell button. You got to hit the bell button. When you hit the bell button, you'll get the alerts right to your phone every time I drop a video. And then you won't have to go searching for me. It'll just come to your phone like, bing! Yeah, you like that sound, right? That was cool. But anyway, man. Y'all be safe, man. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Like, be unsafe. And as always, winners focus on winning, man, and losers, they focus on winners. And we winning over here at On Point Trucking Concepts all day, man, all right? So with that being said, 
keep it 100 like I'm running a fever. If I was you, I wouldn't like me either. Next video. Spin that shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. Might have been shaking that work. Spin the check and get it right back. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit.